Hello everyone and welcome to the next lesson and in this lesson we're talking about the stochastic. The stochastic oscillator is another technical indicator that helps traders determine where a trend might be ending. The oscillator works on the following theory. Number one, during an uptrend prices will remain equal to or above the previous closing price. And number two, during a downtrend prices will likely remain equal to or below the previous closing price. How to trade Forex using the stochastic indicator. The stochastic technical indicator tells us when the market is overbought or oversold. The stochastic is scaled from 0 to 100. When the stochastic lines are above 80, the grey dotted line in the chart below, then it means the market is overbought. When the stochastic lines are below 20, the grey dotted line, then it means that the market is possibly oversold. As a rule of thumb, we buy when the market is oversold and we sell when the market is possibly overbought. Looking at the currency chart, you can see where the indicator has been overbought and oversold. We use the stochastic in different ways, but the main purpose of the indicator is to show us where the market conditions could be possibly overbought or oversold. Keep in mind that the stochastic can remain above 80 or below 20 for long periods of time. So just because the indicator says overbought doesn't mean you should blindly sell. The same thing if you see oversold doesn't mean you should automatically start buying. We add this indicator as another form of confirmation and confluence to enter a trade. So let's move on to the charts and I'll show you how to get the stochastic indicator onto your chart. To add the indicator, type stochastic in the indicators tab and add it to your favourites and click on it to add it to your chart. You don't need to change anything on this indicator. It will automatically be set to what it needs to be. To hide the indicator, you just double click the screen. Like I said on the previous slide, when you see the lines go above 80, this means it's overbought. And when you see the lines are below 20, means it's oversold. As you can see right here, price come down and then reversed and started to go up. If you look at the stochastic in the same area where price stopped and went up, you can see that it is below 20, which means it is oversold. This would have been a good indicator to get into a buy trade. And as you can see here, price hit a level of resistance and it started to go down. As you can see in the same area as the indicator, price was above 80, which means that it was overbought. This would be a good opportunity to get into a sell trade. You wouldn't just trade using the statistic by itself. You would use this as another form of confirmation. So if you was about to get into a sell trade and you had two other confirmations, you had bearish price action at a level of resistance and you also had an EMA crossover, you can open this and if price was oversold, that would give you even more confirmation to enter a trade. So that is the end of the statistic lesson, guys. I hope this has helped and I'll see you in the next lesson.